Greetings, my friends. Today, I want to talk to you about something we all experience but often shy away from, our problems. Life, as we all know, isn't without its struggles. But what if I told you that your problems are not enemies meant to weigh you down but companions guiding you towards growth? Yes, each challenge you face holds a hidden gift, if only you're willing to look a little deeper. I've learned this through my own journey. As a young monk, I often struggled to find peace. I saw every setback as a wall blocking my path. It was only over time, and through many humbling experiences, that I learned the art of embracing problems, of seeing them not as obstacles but as lessons. And today, I'd like to share that with you. Imagine your mind as a river. Sometimes, the waters are calm and clear, and other times, they're filled with ripples, waves, and even storms. Those ripples are like our problems. They disturb our peace, but they're also natural. The first step to dealing with problems is accepting that they are a part of life. You see, most of us get caught up in asking, why me? Instead of asking, what can I learn from this? Just shifting that one question can change everything. Let me tell you a story. There was once a man who came to my teacher, troubled by his financial struggles. He was losing sleep, feeling anxious, and said he could hardly focus on his family or work. My teacher listened, and then said, imagine you're carrying a heavy stone on your shoulders, and every time you stumble, you blame the weight. But if you put down the stone, even for a moment, you realize how light you feel. The man was confused. How can I put down my problems? He asked. My teacher smiled and said, by changing the way you see them. So the man began to see his financial troubles not as an unbearable weight but as a chance to rebuild, to start afresh with a clearer sense of purpose. He stopped resisting, and instead of worrying, he focused on one step at a time, working with patience and trust. Over time, he found a path out of his struggles, stronger and wiser than before. You see, problems test us. They ask us to dig deep, to awaken parts of ourselves we didn't even know existed. So often, our initial reaction is to avoid or escape, but what if instead, you welcome them? Think of your problems as teachers, arriving to guide you toward greater awareness. When you face an issue, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this experience make me stronger? One of the greatest gifts we can give ourselves is patience. You may not have the solution to a problem right away, and that's okay. Problems often unfold in layers, and sometimes it takes time for their meaning to reveal itself. I remember a time when I was training as a monk, frustrated by a difficult task I couldn't seem to master. My teacher saw my struggle and reminded me, a flower doesn't bloom in a day, and neither do you. Be patient, and trust that growth takes time. That advice helped me immeasurably, and I offer it to you as well. Now, let's talk about another important element, perspective. How you view a problem can make it either a burden or a blessing. Imagine holding a glass of water in your hand. If you hold it for a few seconds, it feels light. But if you hold it for an hour, it becomes heavy. Our problems are like that. The longer we hold on to them, clinging to worry and fear, the heavier they feel. But when we shift our perspective, suddenly they're easier to bear. I once heard about a woman who faced many difficulties in her life. She used to say, I am like a tree. The storms will come, and the wind will blow, but my roots hold me steady. What she meant is that her sense of self-worth, her inner peace, didn't depend on the problems she faced. Her roots are strength, her resilience, her inner peace, kept her grounded. And in the same way, I encourage you to find your own roots, that place of calm within, even when the storm rages outside. As we conclude, remember this, your problems don't define you, how you respond to them does. Life's challenges are not there to defeat you but to teach you. Embrace your struggles with an open heart, with patience, with the understanding that they are part of the journey. And trust that in time, they too shall pass, leaving behind lessons that will serve you well. If you're facing something difficult right now, take a moment to breathe, to pause. Look at it with new eyes and ask, what can I learn from this? Let each struggle become a stepping stone toward growth, toward resilience, toward becoming a stronger, more compassionate version of yourself. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Remember, no matter what you face, you are not alone. Together, we can learn to embrace life's journey, problems and all. If this message resonates with you, subscribe to The Mindful Path. Share your own stories, struggles, or reflections in the comments. 
I look forward to walking this journey with you.